Hi guys, well I'm quickly going to show you how to um, get Silenth and Factory Banks 1 to 3 um, inside push so you can browse the 1400 uh, or over 1400 uh, factory presets from Factory Banks 1, 2 and 3 uh, from push, um, load them up and then control them from push just like you would with an Ableton uh, instrument. So, uh, here goes. So, uh, after you've been to my site and got the um, preset rack packs, you'll be sent this uh, link. You just click on the zip uh, icon there and that'll appear in your downloads folder on your Mac. So, uh, once you download that, that'll appear in your download uh, folder. Mine is here. You can see it's a zip file there. You just um, Unzip the zip file, the silent uh, will um, factory banks one to three folder will appear there, and you'll see um, its subfolders factory banks one, two, and three. And inside, say factory bank two, you've got the various groups of um, presets um, ordered how they are in silent. So, Adam Van Baker's come first, for example. Uh, you look inside Adam Van Baker. You've got his bass sounds, um, and you can see all the racks there for each bass sound that you have in silent. So that's uh, the same for Factory Banks 1, 2, uh, and 3. Okay, so the next thing you want to do is uh, take that um, folder, um, find your user library, your li Ableton Live user uh, library folder. Uh, if you don't know where that is, you probably do, but if you don't, then uh, just look in your spotlight. Uh, up there in the top right, the looking glass and write user library, it should come up. Uh, and then go to uh, user library, Ableton user library, and presets, instruments, instrument rack, and then drag that silent factory banks one to three folder from your downloads folder, drag it over and drop it there in instrument rack. You can see I've got mine there already. Okay, after you've done that, you want to go into live screen and go to the same destination. So that's uh, user library, um, presets, instruments, instrument rack, and you'll see that the silent factory banks one to three would have appeared there. Um, so then you want to uh, select that and drag it over to places and drop it there. You can see um, I've dropped mine there already. Okay, after that, um, there's quite a lot of folders there, so it might take a while for places to update itself. You might need to unplug the USB from your push device and plug it back in to help it update. Um, but after a few minutes uh, in places, you should be able to find the silent factory banks 1 to 3 there. And scroll across and you can go through factory bank 1, factory bank 2, and factory bank three as you can see right there. So let's take a look inside Factory Bank 3 and we've got Gary Must presets there from Factory Bank 3 and his uh, bass sounds. And we'll take a look at the first one there. I've kept the numbers on the folders in case you know the numbers already and refer to them by the numbers but we've got the bass there as squidgy bass sound so let's um, load that up. Okay so we load it up and uh, it comes up there um, on the screen. Okay, now we want to hit uh, device here and then the in button which is this arrow button here, I want to hit that twice. Okay, now you can see all the banks of um, parameters which have been mapped to pushes knobs so that you can move the knobs and sliders on silent from push. Okay, so now we just play a, a simple line in silent on this preset and you can see up here we can just control the parameters from push. Okay, 
Okay, now looking down at the rack that's been created, we can take a look at um, how the parameters have been uh, mapped by clicking this arrow there. And so you'll see um, all the parameters that have been mapped to pushers knobs there. You'll also notice here that the macros are empty. Uh, there are eight macros there. Now you can assign eight of these parameters to the macros um, if you like. And the advantage of that is that for these eight, which might be your eight favorite ones or the eight you're using most in this project, you'll have them on the front screen um, on push uh, instead of having to scroll through the 16 banks um, to find them. So you select your, your favorite eight. So let's take uh, the mod wheel, for example. We just go over here to the uh, far right to configure. Uh, click that so it goes green. Um, go down to the mod wheel, do a right click, map to macro one, and let's take the cutoff, and map to macro two, and we'll go to uh, back to configure. Sorry about my very poor camera skills, by the way. Uh, now over there, you'll see then that the mod wheel and the filter um, cutoff have appeared um, on the macro screen there and then back on push on the front screen that we get when we first hit device before we hit the in button arrow um, we've got the macro screen so the very first screen the device now the mod wheel and the filter have appeared there and you can do that uh, for another six of your favorite macros they'll then be disabled in the banks that they're originally in um, for that particular project now if you want to save the way that you have uh, done the macros at the front there uh, you just go up to um, this button here, click that, um, and save it as, say, Squidgy Base 1 uh, or whatever you want to save it as. Um, that will then uh, appear somewhere down here, and you just want to drag it up to, uh, in this case, um, the uh, base folder um, from Gary Mus presets, um, if you want to, or maybe your own uh, folder that you make. That's about it. I hope you have fun uh, with the Rex.